Dear Carolyn, today is happening. Can you believe it? Sometimes I feel as if we're living in a fairy tale. I get to marry my princess today. Throw it up against the wind. I thread it through your everything. Hi. You are the best thing that has ever arisen in my life and I have to be the luckiest man on the planet. Thomas and Caroline, have you come here to enter into marriage without coercion, freely and wholeheartedly? I have. Are you prepared as your fellow, as you follow the path of marriage to love and honor each other for as long as you both shall live? I am. I am. Are you prepared to accept children lovingly from God and to bring them up according to the law of Christ and His church? I am. Since it is your intention to enter the covenant of holy matrimony, join your right hands and declare your consent before God and His church. I, Thomas. Thank you, Carol. Thank you, Carolyn, to be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and bad, in sickness and in health, to love you, to honor you all the days of my life. I, Carolyn, take you, Thomas, take you, Thomas. to be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and bad. In good times and bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you. To love you. To honor you. To honor you. All the days of life. All the days of life. Carolyn, receive this ring. Receive this ring. It's a sign of my love and fidelity. It's a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. Thomas. Thomas. Receive this ring. Receive this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Who 
could have ever imagined that I would meet the love of my life at Lucas Park on Wash Ave in St. Louis on Halloween over six years ago. While you might not have found any deer that evening, you did snag your deer of your life. Not one day since is your sassiness, charm, and confidence ever abated. Along with your beauty and penchant for always being right, despite my initial protestations in the moment, every single day is a new adventure that makes me keep coming back for more. My dear friends, brothers and sisters, it's a great privilege to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Thomas and Caroline Willett. Congratulations. <laughs> As we both prepare for this day that we have anticipated for so long, let's always remember what this day is really about. Today is about the celebration of our love for one another. Tears of joy are already running down my face. In a few short hours, you will be my wifey and I will be your hubby. Whatever Mother Nature throws at us today, remember that after the past year, it's been tumultuous for all of us in our own ways, we get the gift of celebrating our love in front of all of our friends and family. God's grace had to be present when we met because you were my rock, my angel, my do or die, my everything. I love you to the moon and back a thousand million, million times a million times over. Because all that you are is all that I'll ever need. I love you so much, Carolyn. Dear Tommy, as I sit here and think back to the night that we met, I truly had no idea how those five simple and punny words would change my life forever. Will you be my dear? That's it, one question. That's all it took to find the love of my life. In that moment, I didn't know you were the love of my life, but I did know that you had beautiful and inquisitive eyes, the most incredible smile, and calming yet confident presence, and the true generosity to laugh at my terrible jokes. Those qualities pulled me into you, and now I can never let go. Every day, you seem to find a way to make me fall in love with you all over again. You have an extraordinary ability to ground me with one simple hug or handhold, and that is the most incredible feeling in the world. I can't wait to hold your hands at the altar today and to rush into your arms for that hug every day for the rest of our lives. The past few months, days, and moments leading up to today have made me feel so loved by you. I've been calling you my best friend for years, and I can't wait to call you my husband now, too. Never forget, all that you are is all that I'll ever need. I'll love you forever and always. Carol. Thank you all so much for being here. Um, it's actually a really hard week with a lot of people, and we feel 
so grateful that you guys are willing to travel um, to celebrate us. And um, there are a lot of people who couldn't be here today and really do feel their love from afar. But we're so, so happy and honored that you guys could be here to help us today. So again, if you please enjoy all of us this great day as well as us. Um, yeah, that was weird. Thanks for coming. Same sentiments. Um, we're just so happy. That this could happen and and everybody have a great time. Thank you. Father, we gather together in a spirit of celebration and gratitude. Thank you for the blessings of bringing Tommy and Carolyn together in marriage today. We cherish the memories of our families who couldn't be here with us, but they're here in spirit and within our hearts. We ask that you, that you bless this food we're about to receive. And let this, be, this reception be an honor to you and to Tommy and Carol, in Jesus' name. Hello, everybody. Um, good evening. If you don't know, I was just introduced to Scott, the father of bride. I'm happy everybody that could make it did, and those that didn't, they are in our hearts. Same sentiment Carolyn and Tommy talked about. A um, couple things about Carolyn. The, the, the ones of you that don't know her well might need to know these things. Um, she's a perfectionist and you can tell that from everything that's been set up here tonight. She did it all, the name tags, the signs. Um, but how I relate to that is first or second grade homework, math. All these math problems to do. And at the bottom, create your own math problem. Carolyn draws four perfect little puppy dogs, three perfect little kitty cats, equal, and draws them again. Now, a normal person, X is those, we're out of here. Um, it's true. <laughs> she, she's a little competitive too. And we can relate this back to like she was 10 or 11 and one of our friends had two sons, that one her age, one our son Tommy's age, and they come over for a play date on Saturday. Well, Carolyn commits, you know, starts to everything out, beats them at basketball, beats them racing down to the neighborhood pool, etc. June pulls her aside and says, look, boys aren't gonna like you if you beat them at everything. <laughs> Carolyn's response, so? <laughs> But, you know, so evidently, she's either backed off of that a little bit, or Tommy. <laughs> or Tommy can beat her at a few things. <laughs> Don't know. But in all honesty, we have nothing but praise for Carolyn. I mean, she made it through school, no problems. Got a job, decided she wanted to move to Colorado, did it. Her career, she's driven. Just life itself, she's done everything perfectly. Found Tommy. Appears to be a good kid, raised by <laughs> Steve and Holly. Couldn't done it without them. Um, but in finishing this up, everybody please stand. Raise your glasses. And let's toast. Thomas and Carolyn Willett and their next adventure. Cheers. Thank you very much. I'm sorry, it's a little loud, sorry. First of all, I wanna congratulate Carolyn and Tommy. Give them a big round of applause. <laughs> so I was sitting there looking out on the venue that we rented to stay here and it's like, what are they saying to me? What are these mountains actually saying to me? And it's gonna be a little bit corny, but it reminds me of my favorite movie of all times. And I don't know if you know what this is, 
but it's the sound of music. Movies can instill a lot of inspiration in you, especially the one you want to watch over and over and over again. Like, um, I saw The Sound of Music when I was nine years old. Um, just like the journey through a marriage, you know, the ceremony, the elements, the life stories, the exuberant times, the down times, and everything that goes in between, you know, it's all about, um, as you grow in a marriage, it's also uh, replayed over and over again, just like the favorite movie that you always like to watch. You always like to watch that movie. You never get tired of watching it, and you know it by heart. Like, The Sound of Music, I know every single song in it, but I still don't get tired of it, right? And it's just like, but as your life goes on and all the events in your life go on, the movie in your life just gets older and older and older and older and longer and longer and longer. So it's just fun to replay that same movie over and over again and all the events that you've, like the ceremony today, this reception tonight. I mean, this is gonna be the start of your movie, basically. And your movie is just going to grow and grow and grow and grow as you go along in your life. But like we are here at the, uh, you know, the majestic foothills of the Rocky Mountains. I mean, you look around and it's just, it's just, you know, this movie that I love was set in a similar situation. And the mountains, as you look at them, are eternal. They never go away. They were here long before we were, and they're going to be long before we're, you know, after we're all gone in this room. You know, so we're just passing through at this point in time. And so I have to ask myself, you know, what are they saying to me? To me, they say music. It's the sound of nature. It's, it's life. It's diversity of everything living together. Um, it's stability. You know, they're a lot older than we are, so they're a lot more stable than we are. Um, there's solid footing in the mountains. There's bedrocks, but there's also avalanches that can happen. And there are pitfalls, and those are the hard times that you have to get through. Um, but most of all, it's the eternity of the love. But I just want to end with a cheer to the new family that the new family that was created today, and the two existing families, and the emergence, the, the merging of all of us. So, congratulations to you guys. Cheers. So I'm Carolyn's sister, Nicole, her maid of honor. Um, don't. <laughs> so, <laughs> Carolyn is seven years older than me, and We've always been at different points in our lives, so I haven't always had her like right next to me in times of need. But even though we're miles and miles apart, I've always been able to call upon her and ask for advice and everything. And <laughs> You've always been there for me and helped me through tough times. And I can't thank you enough, but I'm so happy that you found Tommy and that you two are happy together. And congratulations and cheers. <laughs> cheers. <laughs> okay, now I know these things can get kind of long, so I did bring some notes with me. Whether he knows it or not, Tommy has always been a role model for me growing up. He's an extremely intelligent and talented individual, I know I'm saying this right, <laughs> with a huge heart and will always cherish the memories that we've had, that we've shared over the years. He pushed me to be better at every turn, and I would not be the man I am today without that guidance, and I'm forever grateful. Now, I met Carolyn not too long after they started dating on a ski trip right here in Colorado about six years ago. Instantly, I could tell they had a strong connection and that she pushed them to try new things, like snowboarding <laughs> for the first time on a 15,000-foot mountain. 
I'll never, I'll never forget when Tommy told the, the other snowboarders we rode the lift with that day that this was his first time. And I've never heard la someone laugh so much in my entire life. <laughs> so needless to say, he spent most of the day on his rear end, but he never gave up. And by the end of the day, you know what? He still wasn't much better. <laughs> <laughs> Carolyn, I'm so excited to be gaining you as a sister. Your presence in Tommy's life brings out the best qualities in him. And I can tell that you truly make him the happiest that I've ever seen. I'm so excited for the memories that we will create going forward for the rest of our lives. So with that, I'd like everyone to raise a glass and toast the new couple, Tommy and Carolyn. Cheers. Under the stars, I see everything that led to where we are, and I wouldn't change a thing. Under the moon, all the wishing that we did is coming true, like I got magic up my sleeve. And you can't fight the moonlight when it's moon. Because all that you are is all that I'll ever need. I love you so much, Carolyn. And we get married today. All right. Okay, guys. So don't look at me. It's weird when you stare at the video camera. It's creepy. Don't do it. All right. Put your foreheads together, sisters. Foreheads. Touch them.
Yeah, that's better. Yeah. It just covered her face. I didn't do it. It wasn't no. my fault. The wind did it. I'll hold it down lower this time. <laughs> but before we go into the essence and the meaning of what is about to happen, I have a question for Thomas and Caroline. And I need an answer. Don't be afraid. Now, Thomas, I'll begin with you. <laughs> Do you know how many women we have in the world? Three and a half to four billion. In the billions. Now, I want you to think about what you're about to do right now. In the billions of women in the world, you made a choice. Why? Does that sink in? You chose Caroline. I chose wisely. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> so think about it, brothers and sisters. Now, Caroline, I have this question for you. How many men do you think we have in the world? Can I just copy his answer? <laughs> As Thomas says. A few billion. <laughs> in the billions. And you made a choice. You made a choice in the middle.